Hey, what's up, Plaza Towers? Hey, uh, this is Coach Young. Oh, what happened? Where are we? Hey, let's uh, try this again. Jeez. So I got this selfie stick, and I'm just trying to do what I can to make this work. But uh, we're going to make it work. So let's try this again. Ready? Take two. All right. Uh, this is Coach Young. And, uh, man, I hope you're having a good day, a blessed day today. Uh, some teachers got to come into the building today. We've been going through intervals Wednesday through Friday. Today is my day, so I get to be here in my office. Okay, it's a great feeling to be back. I just, gosh, missed the heck out of you guys. Wish we were here. This whacked out coronavirus has got us doing crazy stuff right now that uh, I don't like, you don't like, but this too shall pass. And so uh, I know we kind of had uh, hit up our basketball unit. And so I was going to make a video about that today and just kind of give you uh, a touch my face. Don't touch your face. And, uh, and so I was just going to give you a little recap of that maybe what you should be doing and so uh i'm gonna take it pretty easy uh you guys know my back situation all right i think i talked about that in another video it is slowly coming around and so i don't want to tweak it and so but i want to be able to show you what i kind of want you to practice on some things you can do at home maybe you can do this on your driveway you can do this in your back porch all right and uh where i put cones you can actually put rocks all right like i did when i was a kid these are things i did actually as a kid and you can put rocks or you can draw little x's for uh on the ground make those be your cones all right to kind of give you a visual of what this will look like okay so i'll have some cones but again you're gonna have to improvise and so we're gonna go out the gym and uh, set this off. So let's go! See you out there, bye. Okay, so remember uh, your dominant hand, and we talked about dominant versus non-dominant. Dominant hand is the hand that you use the most. It's the hand that you probably eat with, probably fix your hair with the most, all right? Probably you write with, all right? That's your dominant hand. Your non-dominant hand is the hand that maybe you use for support. You don't really use it as much. You don't throw with this non-dominant hand, all right? If you do, then you're ambidextrous, all right? You can use both hands. And so, uh, remember, I want you to practice dribbling in place, okay? And before we get into that, all right, remember, I do not want you to dribble like this, okay? That is cute when you are probably three, four, five, like, oh, my little baby's gonna be the next LeBron James, okay? So, uh, you wanna graduate from that because if you dribble with two hands, okay, this is called a double dribble, all right? Also, if you get the ball and you bring it up like this, it's called a carry, okay? Because you're carrying the ball. You cannot dribble the ball like that. If you dribble the ball, okay, you stop, and then you dribble again, okay? That's called a travel. And anytime you're dribbling, okay, and you stop, you want to use a pivot foot. This pivot foot foot will allow you to move around to go to all angles all right just like that so make sure that you are using your pivot foot okay because if the moment you pick that up the ref's going to do this at you once you get a basketball league he's going to call you for travel okay so again double dribble dribble stop and we dribble again that's called a travel okay this is called a carry all right if you take more than two steps Okay, while you're dribbling the ball, that is also called a travel, all right? So, here's what we're gonna do. Remember, I want you to practice, have maybe your parents help you with this, all right? You're gonna be dribbling in place, or maybe your brothers and sisters. You're dribbling in place with your dominant hand, okay? You can do that for 30 seconds, then switch off with your brother and sisters, okay? Dribble, dribble, dribble. You wanna keep the ball between the waist and the ground between the waist and the ground all right and then you'll dribble with your dominant hand all right and then i want you to dribble with your left or your non-dominant hand my non-dominant is my left okay and so i want you to dribble for 30 seconds with your dominant 30 seconds with your non-dominant all right and then switch to your brother and sister or just take a minute rest all right then okay when you're done with that, remember, uh, I want you to practice looking up. It's important that you're looking up because if you're looking down and you're so focused on the ball, making sure you're dribbling it correct, 
the ball is going to get taken away from you by the defense. All right, and so you want to make for sure that you are looking up. A good drill to do that is to have someone uh, stand in front of you while you're dribbling. Okay, while you're dribbling the ball, okay, the person in front of you holds up a one, and you got to shout one, and knowing that you see their one again, you're looking up and keep dribbling. Then they put their hand down and they will do this. Okay, that's a zero. You say zero. You keep dribbling and maybe they do this, two. Okay, and you shout two. Maybe if they do this, that's five. All right, and then you keep dribbling. If they do this, four. All right, and then you go back and then maybe you go three. Okay, so the person showing you the number can go through any number you want. All right, as long as it's zero through five, and you gotta make sure you call that number out. When you're done, you can switch partners, okay? And the next person's going to dribble, all right? And then you're going to shout out the number, okay? Does that make sense? Good, all right. Now, uh, another thing, okay? Let's see where we're at here, okay? All right, we're still filming, so it's good. Okay, now, the next thing you're going to do is you're gonna dribble, practice walking. Now these cones right here, remember, you can get chalk if you have chalk, or you can even use a rock. A rock will write on cement sometimes, and so you can make an X on the ground. So that could be an X, 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 okay? And now what you're gonna do is, is you're gonna dribble down, okay? With the ball in hand, all right? Around on the right side, come back on the left. So you're gonna dribble down with your dominant hand, okay? Come back right here with your non-dominant hand, all right? You can practice this over and over and over until you get comfortable. Okay? kindergartners you can do it as long as you want through second grade uh, third grade through six if you want you can start progressing and then you can start jogging okay if you feel comfortable start jogging dribbling the ball down with your dominant hand come back with your non-dominant hand okay but first or kinder through second I really want you just to focus on walking and dribbling okay and then third through sixth if you get really good you can sprint down and back all right if you have a brother and sister you can time each other, see who can go the fastest, but you gotta stay under control, because if you go under control, it doesn't count, all right? Now, the next thing you can do is you can go in and out of the cone, okay? Using the right, then the left, I'm going to demonstrate, okay? So you dribble to the right, minutes if you're by yourself all right just to get better at dribbling you can uh, kindergartners through second you probably want to dribble with one hand going in and out in and out in and out with your dominant hand all right if you feel like you are getting better and you want to progress then you can go and use both hands third through six I want you to focus on using both hands left and right going in and out of the cone okay Kindergarten through second, you're not going to be, I don't want you running or jogging through this because I want you to become a really good ball handler. I don't want you to get ahead of yourself. But third through six, I do want you running in and out, okay? Progressing to that, jogging maybe, and then running in between and trying to get better and better, okay? Now, uh, so that's it for dribbling. Okay, look at this awesome gym. This thing is going to be so ready for us to come back to. I can't wait. You can't wait. Um, but just want to give you a little snapshot of our old homestead. Okay. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to work on passing right now. Uh, I'm going to go over chest pass. I'm going to go over bounce pass. I'm going to go over over the head pass. And you can do this with a partner. All right. Or you can do this uh, by yourself. I'm going to show you how to do this by yourself. Okay. All right. So here we go. yourself okay remember you want a good shoulder width apart your feet okay and 
Then you're going to pass the ball by yourself. Remember you're coming from the chest, going out like that, palms out, okay? Your palms out, and then you want your palm up to catch the ball. So to practice this by yourself, you're going to throw it against the wall, okay? Just like this. You can do it against the side of your house. If you have a brick house, this would be a great way to do this. Boom. I want you to have an aiming point, okay, on the wall. Aim for that point, maybe put an X, okay? So you try to hit that with tape or something like that. Um, or chalk, just like that, okay? If you're going over the head, okay? Have a spot, that's your aiming point. Have a spot, your aiming point going over the head, okay? Get used to that motion. The other one is uh, bounce pass, okay? So we're gonna act like this railing, okay? We're gonna step over the rail because your power is going to come from your legs. So you're gonna bounce pass just right there, okay? To the wall, bounce pass, it comes back to you. Remember, you're still going from the chest and your palms are going out just like that, okay? All right, so that is the passing how that will work, all right? And again, if you want, you can do this by yourself for probably, I don't know, probably three to five minutes on each pass and uh, it'll be pretty good. So let me think about how shooting will work. Oh, so maybe let's go over some shooting. Okay, now, Shooting, okay? You want a good base, okay? If you don't have a goal at your house, it's okay. I'm still gonna teach you proper technique. You want your feet shoulder width apart. You don't want them all pigeon toed like this, or you don't wanna shoot one foot in front, one foot in back, okay? That's not good. You wanna make sure they are side to side, okay? And your feet, okay, should be pointing in the direction that you're trying to shoot, okay? And then when you shoot, when you go, you start from your legs, okay? And then you come up and then you pop your wrist. Now, when you're shooting the ball from the side, your hand is underneath the ball just like this, all right? And then your other hand, your non-dominant hand is off to the side. Your dominant hand is right here underneath. It should make like an L, okay? See that? Right there. And then you're popping the ball up, okay? So you practice on your hands right here, okay? I really kind of stagger my feet. I kind of have maybe usually one foot in front, my dominant foot in front, okay? And then I'm shooting the ball, okay? And that's all you're doing. Or, if you want, you can have a spot. Your shoes on the wall, okay? Get those legs going. Shooting on the wall, just like that, okay? So, I know it's March Madness right now. Uh, I hate that we don't have March Madness because that is like my favorite time of the year or one of the favorite times of the year. Uh, but anyways, this will maybe get you going to still do some basketball while it is March Madness. I know it's kind of March Sadness without the March Madness, but we're gonna make do and uh, it'd be a good time to practice your basketball skills, okay? So, hey, uh, just remember, uh, wash those hands, okay? Wash them good. Remember, you sing happy birthday. We talked about that in our Be Fit week, how you wash your hands. Make sure you're getting plenty of sleep. Eight hours of sleep is the best thing you can do for your body. And make sure you're eating healthy foods, healthy snacks. We talked about that as well. But I'll be hitting on that uh, in another video. So, love you guys. Uh, it's, it's your guy, Coach Young, signing off. Miss you guys. Uh, hope you're doing good. See you soon. See ya.